Hey guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm starting this a little late because I wasn't going to film another studio vlog this week, but I am in the mood to film and I'm going to be releasing some more product for my next store launch, so I figured I'd go ahead and do this vlog to show you guys the new stuff that I'm going to make. So I've already done a couple things, not really too much, so you guys didn't really miss a lot, but a lot of you guys asked me to restock the coffee shop packs, so I made four four of them. That is it, and I don't think I'm ever going to make these again. I'm just not a huge fan of the coffee shop pack, so I don't want to keep making product that I'm not 100% loving, you know? So four of these packs will be back in stock for you guys to buy for the ones who missed it. And then I still have a couple of the cherry stickers in stock on the matte sticker paper if you guys still want to buy some. And then I also have four of these prints, but that is it. I only have the stickers and the prints left over. And then for a new product that I've started, um, I made an original character pretty much a couple months, like maybe a month or two ago. And I eventually wanted to make it kind of like a little mascot. So this is um, Booberry the cat. So it's a cat that is a blueberry and I made it onto glossy sticker paper. So I have 18 of these that I am going to be selling just individually. Um, maybe in the future, I'm thinking of having like an own character where I put a sticker in each person's order. But for right now, I'm just selling these individually. Yeah, and I think these are my favorite stickers yet, honestly. I feel like they're like the best quality that I've made and I really like the way that they look and I want to start selling original art that's not fan art on in my shop as well because I don't want to just be selling fan art. So I started that and now I am starting to make new bookmarks. So the next bookmark I am going to make is Totoro. I'm going to try to make like a whole Studio Ghibli series and then maybe if I make enough I can make like a Studio Ghibli like bookmark pack where I have a bunch of different characters and like a pack that you can buy but for right now I'm selling them individually. So I made little templates for them and I'm gonna make Totoro. So I made little the base and then I made the tummy and the ears so I'm going to be making that and if you guys if this is a new studio vlog I make little bookmarks for like planners or books and they're just on a paper clip and they're made out of felt. So I have my little paper clips here to start that. But for right now, I'm just probably gonna spend the rest of the night making Totoro bookmarks because I have the biggest migraine ever. I've had it for the past two days now. So I'm trying to do things to like get my mind off feeling like crap, but. So I think it's super funny and I'm sorry if you hear that paper noise in the background. My dog's toys have like paper in them. Like at my first studio vlog, I started watching Shameless and now I'm on like my third studio vlog and I'm on season nine which means I've watched nine seasons in like two weeks I need help <laughs> next day and I just finished the bookmarks. I have five of them. I actually made six but one my cats got a hold of and like ripped it apart pretty much so I'm just gonna use this for myself and I didn't finish the ears because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so five of these will be for sale in the shop. They all have different little faces. They're a little derpy looking. I like this one because it's really derpy looking. But here's my little Totoro's. I really like them. I think they're super cute. Um, I like their little derpy faces. Look at them. So make sure to check these out if you want to buy them. And I'm gonna show you what they look like in a book. 
So here's what it looks like in a book. It's super sturdy. I made sure that it would be. I haven't read this book yet, but <laughs> that's what it looks like. And it literally just clips down. And then, you know, you can just flip to the page and take it out. And it doesn't really leave a mark in your book because I made sure it wasn't too tight, but I made sure it was tight enough where it would stay sturdy. Okay guys, so it's like 10.30 at night and I'm sorry, this camera sucks in low light situations so this is the best the lighting is gonna get. But I've been working on some things on my iPad. I'm gonna make like a bunny Animal Crossing sticker pack. So the first one I've made is Tiffany and then I've made Coco. I actually really like this one because it has the details of the water in the background because she's like a desert looking gyroid thing. And then I just made Bunny, which I really like this one as well. I think I'm gonna make it into an art print. It looks very retro to me. It says Chase Your Dreams. So I may make that an art print, but then I was also thinking about um, this drawing that I did about a month ago. And at the time, I didn't really like it, but it's really grown on me and I really like the way that it looks. So I scanned it into my printer and then I opened it into Procreate. So this is what it looked like scanned in before Procreate and then this is after. So I just kind of like did some line work and filled in some places to make it look more digital and I'm going to make that an art print and kind of make it look like a Polaroid kind of like that so I'm gonna print some of those so I've got two new art prints and then I'm planning on making a bunner bunner what a bunny sticker set um Animal Crossing sticker set so I'm gonna make like three more of the bunnies if I have enough product to open again this Saturday most of my openings are going to be like on a Saturday so stay tuned for those I want to make products throughout the week and then just put you know open them up on Saturdays that's why I try to get enough product for you guys but I'm just going to um, practice printing out these prints on paper and see what they look like right now and if I like them then I will continue to print some more out
Okay, it's almost midnight, so I'm going to stop what I'm doing. But I decided for every order, I'm going to just put my logo sticker in there. Um, it's on matte sticker paper. It's just my logo. And like for Halloween and different seasons, I'm going to like change the colors of them. So you guys get like maybe different colors with different orders and stuff. Maybe you collect them. I don't know, something kind of cool. So I just made a bunch of those for the next orders. I think I made like 60 of them. And then I made four more prints of the Ditto print because I have a couple people messaging me asking me if I could redo that one. Then I have five of the bunny prints. I don't know why I like this print so much. It, it looks so retro to me. Something about it, like it reminds me of something, but I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't know. And then I have seven of these prints and I put my signature at the bottom with like permanent marker. So my signature is on the corners of these. So that's what I did tonight. Just a lot of prints, three prints, and a bunch of my business stickers. And also today I made more um, like cards to put in my orders as well. So I've got all of those stocked up for the next launch. And I also made more Pokemon packs. So it's filling up in here again and I'm excited to do some more stuff. I want to make some more bookmarks before the opening on Saturday but I doubt that will happen because I work Thursday, I work Friday, and then Saturday I have my Pawpaw's memorial service so I don't think I'm going to be doing anything that day other than like opening the shop but I'm hoping to get these bunny sticker packs done by the first launch at least and then I'll make like Animal Crossing cat sticker packs or um, Halloween Animal Crossing packs. I have a lot of ideas for Halloween that I'm just waiting on. And that herb pack that I showed you guys, I really do like it, but I don't want to just sell that one little sticker sheet. So I'm trying to think of other things to add to it so I can make like a herb vegetable like sticker set or something. I still haven't thought of that yet, so that's still in progress. But I'm going to go to bed and update you guys when I do something next time. Hey guys, it is actually the next day. I was supposed to work today, but I've been up sick all night and I'm going to the doctor today to try to figure out what's been going on because I've been getting sick a lot the past couple weeks and I want to figure out what is going on. So I've just been laying on the couch and drawing. So I finished the rabbit sticker pack. So what I'm planning on doing is having five big stickers and then six of the rabbit balloons and then um, rainbow leaves to put in there. So each pack is going to have 18 stickers. So the rabbit pack is going to have 18 stickers, five big ones, and then the math on the other little ones. <laughs> and then I just made a pretty simple backing card. Looks like this, just has little rabbit ears. And I'm planning on doing this for every single pack that I make. So like if I make a cat pack, I'll make them like cat balloons, you know, if it's uh, any other type of animal. So I'm gonna send these all to my laptop and try to figure out how I want to print these. Um, all of them are going to be on the glossy photo paper, except for the leaves. I'm gonna print the leaves on just plain matte photo paper or photo sticker paper, but all of the other ones will be on glossy sticker paper.
Hey guys, so to update you from the doctor's appointment, um, I have to go get an ultrasound on my gallbladder because the doctor is concerned that maybe I'm having problems with my gallbladder. He's being a little shithead today. I took them out of their crates when I got home and he took one of my Totoro bookmarks out of this drawer and he tore it in half. So now I only have four instead of five. So anyway, I have to go get an ultrasound on my gallbladder and then he prescribed me a medication to help with the sharp pains that I've been getting in the middle of the night and the nausea. So hopefully that'll hold me over until I have to get an ultrasound, but until then, we'll see. But I started before I had to leave, I started relisting things on my Etsy. So like I said, I only have four Totoro bookmarks now, but I already had some of you guys order stuff and I haven't even posted it yet. I already had, I think I've already sold two of the coffee shop. <laughs> Um, packs, but the other stuff I haven't done yet, so I'm gonna do that right now and open the shop up, post it on my art Instagram first for you guys to buy, and then I'll post it on my main Instagram. With how dark the, the video is, it is like thunderstorming outside, hardcore right now, and it just keeps getting darker and darker. And I also wanted to show you guys this candle that my mom bought me because I really love it. Um, so first of all, my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works is hot cocoa and cream, but for Halloween, it's called hot cocoa and scream, and this is what it looks like. And then she got me this holder, like a Halloween candle holder, to put it in, and I am so excited to light this candle in here. Oh my gosh, like, I seriously, this candle, I don't know how to explain the smell, but it smells like home to me. But this candle is just like the smell of home, so I just really am excited and I wish my dogs would stop. All right, I've got all of the listings on here. Like I said, there's only two left at the coffee shop, but we've got a good enough amount of a lot of these things. I need to make more bookmarks, but here is what I have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and post it on my Instagram story. Okay, so I have packed, wow, this lighting is so bad. Okay, so I've packed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven orders and I have two more that I need to pack right now. So I'm just going to keep packing. Okay guys, so I had a couple people tell me that their um, art prints came a little bent in the mail. So in order for me to fix that, what I have been doing with the new orders is I've been taking a piece of cardboard, just reusing cardboard, and then taping the print just with a piece of washi tape on the back just to keep it secure to the piece of cardboard. Just one little piece of tape like that. So when you peel it off, it won't rip anything. And I've been packaging it like that and it keeps the thing really sturdy so it's not going to bend. So that's one way I figured out how to fix that situation. So that's what I've been doing with the art prints to help with the bending. Because unfortunately I can't really help how they treat mail once it goes out, so. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I just woke up and 
I have 10 new orders that I need to pack and um, after all the ones I get today, I'm going to ship them tomorrow. So all of the new orders that I just got from the new opening is going to be shipped on Saturday. So most likely people won't start getting them till the next week, but shipping hasn't been too bad for a lot of people. Um, it looks like it's going slow for some people, but a lot of people have already gotten their orders. So if you could, um, please give me a review on my Etsy because the better the reviews I have, the more my shop shows to people who are just not people who follow me on YouTube. So if you get an order and you do like it, please give me a review. If you don't like your order, please message me and let me know so I can try to fix it. I would just need some good reviews to up my shop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all this again, which my favorite part about my Etsy shop is packing everything. I love packing stuff. I don't know why, it's just really satisfying to me. It has been a couple days later, or maybe it was a day later, I don't know, since I last filmed, but I went ahead and I got all my new orders packaged up and sent in the mail already. Um, I have like two or three orders now that I need to pack and send out tomorrow. So there is still many products still available from this launch if you guys are interested. My ditto print sold out again, so I might be making those. And my coffee shop packs sold out immediately again too. So it's like you guys seem to really like the coffee shop packs. So maybe I will um, make those more, I guess. But I have about, I think I have six of the bunny packs and then I have some art prints and one more Pokemon pack, quite a few of the these stickers and that's about it for this launch but like I said every future order is going to have my logo sticker and um, sooner or later the logo sticker is going to change per season so you guys will be able like to collect them if that may, may be cool to you guys I know I like to collect like cool stickers and stuff so that's going to be coming in every order and I'm planning on the next video vlog making more bookmarks because these all sold out I will have a link for my shop down below if you guys want to buy any of my new stuff. Um, if not, you can always favorite my shop on Etsy and get notified whenever I do restock because sometimes I don't make studio vlogs on openings and I just put them on my Instagram only. So follow me on Etsy or on Instagram, which are all down below and I'll notifi notify you guys when I'm about to open my shop. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.